Canon's new remote control panel for broadcasting applications and PTZ cameras. So as you can see, it's able to pull the IP streams from the PTZ cameras. As well, it has touch functionality. This camera is unplugged, so it didn't connect. You can get into the camera settings uh, when you have the picture on. Switch to, see there's SDI input. Switch to IP only, the active camera. You can go to add-ons and set the tracking on and off. Yeah, I think that first first camera, the N700, was with the tracking. The other ones doesn't have it uh, activated. As you can see, there are connectors, SDI output for the same view as you have here. Input, I'm not sure what's the usage right now. There are serial remote control input outputs for direct connection to cameras. There is HDMI out, yeah, that's POE LAN connector or DC 12 volt input. GPIO, I think this could be for tally lamps. It could be connected to the SDI in functionality. I have to confirm that. Classic zoom. You can go out of uh, full auto and change things. Iris was all the things, but you, you gotta like uncheck the auto functions. Not that white balance. It, oh, this is one push one balance. You've got as as you would on the broadcasting cameras uh, presets for white balance. Uh, yeah, there are some factory ones. I'm not sure yet what is this for the usb i have to look it up though you got yeah you have to enable the panel and then it responds and you can get to all the settings you've got in the web interface it's pretty elaborate and there is also uh, automatic camera search it's grouping as on the other controller yeah, this is this is the update from these to this. This is much faster interface than it was on the uh, older one, and as well you've got much uh, much similar to the RCP panels.